Do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. For their minds devise violence, and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, and a man of knowledge increases power. For by wise guidance you will wage war, and in abundance of counselors there is victory. Wisdom is too exalted for a fool. He does not open his mouth in the gate. One who plans to do evil, men will call a schemer. The devising of folly is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. If you are slack in the day of distress, your strength is limited. Deliver those who are being taken away to death, and those who are staggering to slaughter. Oh, hold them back. If you say, see, we did not know this, does he not consider it who weighs the hearts? And does he not know it who keeps your soul? And will he not render to man according to his work? My son, eat honey for it is good. Yes, the honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know that wisdom is thus for your soul. If you find it, then there will be a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Do not destroy his resting place. For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in time of calamity. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles. Or the Lord will see it and be displeased, and turn his anger away from him. Do not fret because of evildoers, or be envious of the wicked, for there will be no future for the evil man. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the King. Do not associate with those who are given to change, for their calamity will rise suddenly, and who knows the ruin that comes from both of them? These are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judgment is not good. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous. Peoples will curse him, nations will abhor him. But to those who rebuke the wicked will be delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. He kisses the lips who gives a right answer. Prepare your work outside and make it ready for yourself in the field. Afterwards, then build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause, and do not deceive with your lips. Do not say, Thus I shall do to him as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. I passed by the field of the sluggard, and by the vineyard of the man lacking sense. And behold, it was completely overgrown with thistles. Its surface was covered with needles and its stone wall was broken down. When I saw, I reflected upon it. I looked and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then your poverty will come as a robber, and your want like an armed man. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that you were blessed by the reading of the scripture. I wanna encourage you that if you gathered with multiple people, that each one of you pick a verse from this chapter. Pick that verse that was highlighted to you, the one that stood out and discuss it. What is the Lord saying through this verse? How is it speaking to you? I also wanna encourage you that you can do this every month. Because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, at the end of the month, you can start over. And every time you visit these chapters, I guarantee you, you'll find something new to talk about. It's life changing. We have done this as a family for about two years or so, and we've seen a change in our mindset, how we look at wisdom, how we look at foolishness, how we look at righteous living. It's a complete character change for sure. The whole point is to get it in you, not just to go through it as a, as a checklist, but get it in you and live it out. So again, I hope that you are blessed by these videos. Share this with your friends and your family. Let's get the word out there. Come on. Thank you again in Jesus' name.